and Matt and Michael will be playing an instrument which they've never played before for the first time here for 30 seconds. And whoever plays worse will have to eat one of my toenails. <laughs> Show your teeth and zoom in on Matt. Show all of me. I can't see your bottom teeth, Matt. All of your teeth. Yeah, wider. Big, wide smile. Yeah, yeah that's it. Teeth. I've seen some sacks in my day. And look, <laughs> sacks are not hot unless it's Santa Claus's because it's full of presents. <laughs> Men's muscles, sexy. Men's smiles, sexy. Men's eyes, sexy. Men's genitals, sexy. The amount of money that men earn more than women is sexy. <laughs> 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 nah, that's hectic shit. Stretch your scrub skin. Ooh. In front of people. And then we had to leave. So yeah, it was pretty like hectic weekend and I'm not going with Matt ever again. Trauma all around. Welcome to episode number 20 of the Mighty Michael Fully Actual Podcast. This this signifies the halfway point of our season. Holy shit. We're halfway through. And look, we had a bit of a sit down this morning and we had a discussion and, and there are some new segments that we're going to fucking jam in, all right? This is 19. This is 19? Oh, yeah, I think it is 19. You're right. Look, but we're still going to let you guys know. This is episode 19, everyone. All right, so we're nearly halfway. So, so and and look, we got, we got a fucking jam-packed episode, all right? We've got the great debate and a really hot topic this week, and we're going to introduce a brand new segment called... Soul Savage Solo, where Matt and Michael will play an instrument. Who each. came up with that? Uh, I can't remember. I think I did. Yeah. Shit. Play an instrument for 30 seconds each, an instrument that they've never played before. And then whoever loses is the shitter one. That's to eat one of my toenails. Oh. Yep. And oh, look, we got, we got, we, there's lots of shit. We got a really cool potential prank call that could go really fucking crazy. Shit. I'm worried. It, can we have to swallow? Yeah. Oof. Okay, I hope I'm better. What do we find out the instrument? That's exactly right. Okay, wow. It's and just there. Guys, yeah. we also have a segment. Look, the phone, you guys have been ringing in your suggestions and giving us great prank calls, giving us some good stories, some are long-winded, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut lying. them down. He's lying. He thinks you're all f***ing shit. We're going to cut them down and I'm going to sort of reiterate them and sort of, yeah, talk it to the, these guys so they don't know the story, break it down for them. And we're also going to request that you guys send in some numbers of friends or actually girls or boys that you have a crush on because we are going to get Wingman Brown to take it to the town and get you your <coughs> partner. He will request a date. Yeah, so a brand new segment where you guys send in the numbers of your crush and like a bit of a backstory and Matt will call them. Tell them who's got a crush on them and try and set up a date with them because Matt is the best for it. We've Messages. all seen how good he is, how great he is speaking to girls and he's got a girlfriend now. So, you know, why not help others get girlfriends and boyfriends? Or even if you've just got messages that you want to deliver to friends, yeah. messenger Matt. If you yeah. want to tell a mate something, get Matt to do it. Matt will do it in a really well done structured way. It's a terrible idea. So, look, we've got some pretty exciting shit. And look, there's been... We've been racking our brains. How can we bring everyone's favorite segment, the Tinder Adventures, back? And let me tell you, we're onto something. So starting next week, I don't want to fuck anyone, but we're going to fuck. We're going to talk to some girls really, really appropriately. That's exciting. So, you know, strap yourselves in because it's about to get wild in here, man. Raise the roof up. Put your hands in the air. And do a big smile. Show your teeth. Show your teeth and zoom in on Matt. Show all of me. I can't see your bottom teeth, Matt. All of your teeth. Yeah, wider. Big, wide smile. Big, yeah, nice that's teeth. it. Very nice teeth. So, yeah, it's pretty hectic. Anyway, how's the fucking week been, boys? Oh, man. Matt. Well, look, <clears throat> I've got a singles comp with Pickleball tonight. I came second last week by one point. I was devastated, but tonight I'm going to win. Will you get revenge? Yeah, yeah. I've got my own little like pickleball account now. You register your scores. I'll have a pickleball score overall. And look, I'm just going to, I'm putting it here. I'm going to win the Red Cliff Open this time next year. Does that win money? Um, I'm going to say yes. Wow. What, what do, do you, you do win? for money? What do I, you win? Just pride and a bit of cash. And look, 
pickleball. I tell you, I'm going to be the best at pickleball there is. It's in I'm, the Olympics. Imagine if you made the Olympics here in Brisbane. Is it really in the Olympics? Yeah, they just had a vote. Oh, wow. Um, Is that a lie? I don't know. It could be true. Yeah. How's things at work? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> What's been going on? What Is business booming for Wholesome? A little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're going through a good stage. Have you yeah, had? They're always going through some sort of a. Is a anyone at stage. work being not doing a good job? Oh yes, every day. Have you been telling people off? No, I'm not. I'm not working in that position at the moment. Do you miss that just for the the power that you had to be able to talk down to people? I still talk down to people now a bit. What would it take for you to go into work wearing a suit, a not full much. suit, how and, much a, you, and a how much would suitcase? You pay? Two hundred bucks. No. Two hundred dollars done. No, I'd give you twenty. Oh, what? But you have to have your tie on the back, and it has like to a be cape. The, what about the host suit? Yeah, the orange suit. That's two hundred. <laughs> Just thinking. And a big suitcase. And heaps of documents that keep falling. It's a broken suitcase that keeps like opening up. And like bricks and shit fall out. How will you prove that? That I walked in there and done it? A lie detector test? Okay. Holy shit. We should... Dude, that's a great... Imagine that for a segment. We all ask each other questions on a lie, on a lie detector test. That would be hard to... Well, I guess I we could th- get I like think a, it um, will falsify because we're too... Too silly, you're, Billy. You're just too silly Priming it like that because you're worried the secrets will come out. Oh, yeah, there will be secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Brown it. <laughs> I went anyway, for a Sunday walk. Go cross-eyed for me. <laughs> I like that. Can you go cross-eyed? Yeah. Did that work? He did, you looked up. You look at yeah, your nose. Yeah. Oh yeah, sort of. Oh, there you go. Wow. I've never seen you cross-eyed. It's beautiful. Remember when parents said if wind changes, they stay like oh, that? Oh man, yeah. My yeah, when you say that pull a funny time. face, like oh the wind will change and I'll be stuck that way. Did you ever get your mouth washed out with soap for swearing? No, the threats were there though. I never had that. Yeah, yeah they always that threatened either. that. I never you, what were it. your punishments as a child? The, I just was left to do whatever I wanted. <laughs> there was no parents. So there was no help. Yeah, what like, happened to you? Your your dad didn't. He threatened. Oh yeah, you. He, he's he hit me a few times. But did he ever m- kiss your neck? No. But mum like would grab a wooden spoon. That was her uh, tool of choice. Yeah. Okay. Which reminds me, maybe that's a good punishment for next week. Yeah, wooden spoons are not oh, fun, man. Yeah. And that's um, brutal. Yeah, she, and she, I would like sprint down the hallway, trying to get away, and um, and she'd be chasing me with a wooden spoon, and I'd <laughs> dive under my bed and it was pushed into the corner. <laughs> Was she wearing a bra when she was chasing you? Yeah, I think so. Um, Yeah, so my bed was in the corner and it was like a double and I'd dive under the bed and hide and she'd be like trying to get at me. Where would you hide? Under my bed. (laughs) (laughs) He said it twice. (laughs) He said it twice. (laughs) (laughs) Holy (laughs) shit, man. (laughs) Holy shit. I can't believe Michael just pulled that off. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucked, man. Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what happened? <laughs> oh, Brown. Brown, what's wrong? He's and extra then, um, depressed today. And then uh, we watched the UFC on the weekend. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We did have a watch. That was fucking hectic shit, eh? Wish poor Rio got her, but anyway. Did you guys ever watch Home and Away? Oh yeah, I was Shh. hooked. To, I was hooked to that shit but when I was a little boy. You watched it too, right? I loved used to look it. Look forward to it. Eh? Coming home from o'clock. school, yeah. yeah. Six oh. six o'clock Simpsons, six thirty Neighbors, seven o'clock Home and Away, and then it would change. See, I watched Simpsons and then I go on about my life. I even got into Neighbors for a while too. Yeah, I would. I would just to pass the time because I was just bored. I would yeah. put Neighbors on. I yeah. saw bits and pieces, but I never ever got into it at all. ABC just, Kids. I remember the. I remember seeing uh, <laughs> like. You know how something bad would happen on Home and Away and then it'd be like, dun, 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 and then it cut to ad. I remember like the chi- one of the ch- chicks was walking on the beach and she stepped on something. She's like, ow. And then she looked down and she had like a little bit of blood and there was a needle in the sand. Uh, I remember that. Yeah, I actually uh, did watch that oh, part. Yeah, I think I uh, do remember that. And then it like cut to ad. And I was like, I was like, oh, that's yeah. just like they teach you at school, like watch out for needles on the beach because that's what they teach you. 
Man, Watch out I've, for needles on I've the I've always like thought, yeah, like wearing no shoes that if you step on a needle, it's scary. But I've never even come across needles. I have. I've, I've, put yeah, them there. I've come across needles at the beach. Flick them out after you use them. Mm. <laughs> we should do it. Maybe a science experiment around that. Is it really bad to step on needles? Yeah, but like Ooh. maybe we use them first. I really yeah. want to do things. I reckon we should do things for a website video. All right, let us know in the comments if you think we should do names for a website video everybody like you do a and you gotta do a task well you i'd suggested doing heroin, a very small amount of heroin. Heroin's a, see it could be the best thing that's ever happened well, it will to be the worst thing it will be the be best, the best thing feeling and then look it could take me away that. for about a year so no we just make sure that we don't do it again we just we we just do a very small amount i swear we've said that about most things we've ever yeah. tried how many times have you said you're going to go on a fitness thing and the next minute it's like oh fucking relapsed <laughs> Yeah, maybe once or twice. But look, we've uh, haven't gone to the. G- I've been going to the gym. Yeah, I've been the biggest piece of shit. Look at this bruise. That's look like at that bruise. Galaxy. Look at that. That's that's. We filmed a website video last week, and man, it was horrific. Much more painful than I thought it would that's, be. That's um, that's unbelievable that it came off like that. Yeah, and like I don't bruise that easily. So. Where was it attached to? Like a tree. It was a you know, the a gym elastic band, right? This was the video idea, the the video that we filmed. A gym elastic band around my waist, tied to a tree, and then I was to just run and sprint until it broke. And we tied two together, and like I got like twenty meters away, and I could feel the tension. I was like, oh no, I got a lot further than oh. I thought I would get, and then a bit further, a bit further, and then it fucking like a bullet dude and then the knot broke at the other end so the knot flung oh, into the my knot leg got you. you had a lot of weight behind it <clears throat> and yeah it like i haven't bullet. seen your skin form like that ever <sighs> there was some weird red markings on there too it's like a lump here now it's like, and it's really itchy but still hurts to touch fully drew blood it's like fully full so that'll be coming out soon that's exciting yeah. and uh ouch he's just been filming some hectic hectic shit man and we're going on a road trip next week yeah, wow. Yeah, I'm so jealous. We're leaving on a Monday. So yeah. you can come. Can I? Yeah. Would you come? Really? Call cool work right now. No, nah, I already got it off. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pranked you guys. I'm so, going to be there too. So we have to film up the podcast again on Sunday before we leave. Yeah, wow. It's going to be a busy week. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. So I'd better start the Tinder shit today then. All right. So there you go, everyone. And life's fucking wild. Did you right actually now, tell bro. him Tinder's coming back? I think so. Yeah, we did. Did we mention that? Yeah, we yeah. have. Yeah. We had too much. You've had too many bongos, brother. <laughs> That's why your hair is Did we gone say that Tinder color. Sigma's coming back? Yes. Yeah. Just move that. There's something right. Just move that right there. <laughs> made you move it. <laughs> I, swear you, I swear you only mentioned. Did you say that? Stories, and then you mentioned musical instruments, but you didn't get to Tinder. Yeah, we did. Look, and then we talked about... Not- now we're talking about what we talked about. Are you sure you mentioned Tinder? Are you on MMA? Man. Uh, something's definitely in my system today. Imagine a munted podcast. Oh, I'd love Matt Brown munted. Oh, have, have you, you ever been munted? No, no he hasn't. No, that is fuck. Imagine going your whole life and never being. Monitored. Dude, you have to do it once. Well, I've done the I've done the caps when I was eighteen. Yeah, but have you festivals. have you had like? And people would say that's maybe but it was like XD XDM. Yeah, sort of same thing, I guess. But have but you ever was, felt like fully- it wasn't like you at the night on that? <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one's face gets more munted than Michael's. Like I've never seen anything like it. See how good my impression of it was. Yeah. Well, look, if you want to try it. Try it. <laughs> Look at Matt. He's Some writing. people. Look at the way he holds the pen. His thumbs all the way up there. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, you don't hold. You do not hold pens like can that. I, show, can you pass the pen? I want to show how I, how um, you meant to hold it. Well, you meant to hold it like that, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. but do you do pens like, like that. that? But I do. I do. I do. You, you basically you hold it like yeah. a fucking spoon. I do like that. You hold it like this. With your thumb up. I have two fingers under and two on top and thumb on top. Oh, man. Well, even weird. a normal pen. Can I borrow that that's, pen? That's so fucked yeah, up. Yeah, so it's meant to be like that. Hmm. And yeah. you have it like this. Uh, yeah, roughly like that, yeah. 
That's like mung shit. Yeah, I don't know what happened to me. Mung bean. I remember <laughs> I remember when you were young, did you have to write on the chalkboards at school? Like, come up, Matt Brown, you have to write your the sentence on the board. We never got to write on the whiteboard. Yeah, you wouldn't. But you, did you do that yeah, at all? Yeah, yeah. Remember and blackboards? Yeah, yeah, yeah blackboards. Chalk. And people, you'd have to write with chalk on the board. <laughs> and I'd get bullied because I was like one of two left-handers. And you'd wipe it. And the teacher you- was like, we need to untrain you. And I was like, I can't not, I can't, I can write with both because the teacher would, would sometimes like get in my face about it and, and say, you got to write. So I can actually write with both hands, but, um, what was the teacher's name? Uh, I can't remember, but, um, but yeah, I went up to the board and I would write and all the kids would start laughing at me <laughs> because I would write and I'd be my, my part of my finger thing would be rubbing the, what I'm writing out. Yeah. That was it was disaster. Yeah, that's weird. That was man. traumatizing. I've never known school. that about you, and that's, that's it happens now. You should I, write backwards then, like if you no, start with the hard. last letter and then write the other way. When I write on the board what we did for the podcast, sometimes I accidentally rub it out because I'm writing across it. Oh, that's yeah. enough. Yeah, so, let's move like, on. Fuck, of course I can't. Is there any left handers out there who's had that issue? No, it's not because you're left handed. It's because you. There's a whole. There's a whole community of left-handers out there that all went through that. Yeah, being left-handed, you can still hold the pen in a normal way without. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm talking about rubbing. Yeah, rubbing look, one look, out. That, that's yeah. I, I I remember the special kids would hold the pens like that. Yeah, it's Cranley kids. Yeah, I don't know. I just yeah, I don't know. I look, just, let's let we need to move on. I'm so sorry, everyone. <sighs> sorry. Let us let us know how you hold your pens in the comments. Yeah, if there's anyone else out there that does that, <laughs> well, the title of this episode is going to be "How do Matt you hold, hold pens?" Matt, how do you hold your pens? I can't believe that. Still, like I've never seen that. That's I thought you were fucking around. <laughs> like that's pissed yeah. Me off. I don't know. I just uh, it's it's just been that way since the beginning. That's rough, man. That's do you better. drink milk? Yeah. Mm. Actually, no, I don't. Actually, I've cut down on it completely. But That's I would hard. if it's if someone's like, hey, here's a glass. Oh, I'll have a glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get Matt after oh. the first bong bong break. Let's get Matt a glass of milk. I don't think we have milk. You want to hear that? No. I remember when I was at a party once. It was a, a kid party, and you had to skull glasses of milk. It was like when I was fourteen, and it was a milk sculling comp. And I had all I'd won. I mm, got like a liter down very quickly. And they in the last class they had fish oil mixed in, and I had fish oil, but I knew it was fish oil halfway through. I was like, I'm still winning this comp, and I had fish oil milk. So, yeah, <laughs> they pranked you. Go me. All right, now we can move on. <sighs> All right, guys. It's Fuck, time. I'm so sorry. That was 20 minutes of fucking. Shit. Yeah, Connor, can you cut out? No, no, don't cut. I think oh, no, people need to understand the, the how long, we are. The long periods of silence. Okay, those. sorry. Was there much? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's there a few period. times where we where you're st- like, what was that? I fell asleep. Was it a bird? And then you're like, what was that? Yeah, you're getting all distracted and looking around, eyes bulging out of your head. Confusion. You kept going cross-eyed. Manscaped. Are you a fuckwit? Dumb shit, bitch. You want to fuck around on me? How about fuck you to the moon? Fuck you up, man. I'll, fucking, I'll come to your house and fuck you up go to manscape.com and use our discount code fully actual 20 it works with it's confirmed it works again now so we have a live active discount code yeah that's right we're a big deal and it's in the description you dumb hairy bitch go to manscape.com and get that lawn trimmer 5.0 and fucking fix your shit because you look like a dumb idiot dick, and your life's shit and you're shit at everything and you're a fucking dumb dick man fuck you you man a few people did message saying that the the discount code wasn't working there was a little error and it is working now and you should be able to get uh, your discount fuck you fuck you everyone go to manscaped and just have a look at the shit they have because i guarantee you you look like shit you look like shit and manscaped can help stop being shit be better fuck you I manscaped hate this. have really good products that help trim your hairs in different places shut, shut that shit down and fucking go to manscaped yeah that's <laughs> fucking cool. dumb I like the tricks that. go to you, dumb slut. They also you have other products that help. Filthy slut, and go to Manscaped and fix it up, because no one's gonna touch you. They're a very good and company. Please support them. Man whores too. You should definitely shave as well. We. All right, let's move on. Um, if you want to support us and the podcast, um, our website, our subscription website is where, which funds everything, basically. We don't make any money from anything else, okay? So if you want to have a look at the fucking videos we make on the website, we make them weekly. This, this is, is a 21-day free. free trial. 
21 day free trial on the website. We have over 350 videos on there to sink your teeth into. And coming out, we just come out, did, does sound increase pain? Yeah, sorry it, to anyone who can't hear. No, fuck that. If you can't hear, don't bother. Yeah, we don't do subtitles. Also, uh, we have a rule. Raven Carver. What? Raven Carver? Who's he won that? the 50k. <laughs> What's his name? Oh. David Carver? <laughs> No, he hasn't. He hasn't gotten back to us yet. Bullshit. So there might be a redraw. Yeah, the the guy who won the fifty grand. We're trying to get a hold of him. It's impossible. Yeah. So oh look, my it, god, it may still be up for grabs. Have we got his number from the? No, just his email. He hasn't provided his number. Oh mm. my god. So look, you may still be winning the fifty k. Do we leave all that in there? Yeah. Like, oh, Jesus. It's exciting. It's ex- we, we could do it all over again. Uh, bong break. Bong break, and we'll be right back with the great debate. And Matt's gonna have a glass of milk. Time to get I brought a glass. Oh, no, that's not a glass. Milk. That's a measuring cup. You hey, it was a glass to me. I identify it as that. All right, look, Matt's going to have a glass. So wait, 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 stop. Show me the fucking thing. What is that? 5th of June, safe milk. Matt calls Wait, it show milk. me again. Safe milk. How much are you putting in? All of it. No, not well, all of it. Well, you got to have a glass. Just a little, just a little that's bit. That's not a, a fucking bit. glass. Don't, don't waste it. because oh, That's James a waste. Waste. Coffees. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. Dude. Just have one glass. That's 400 mils. Just have a glass. Please. All right, guys, this is crazy. Everyone get ready. Matt Brown's about to drink some milk. Because he can't have bongs. Come on. They say there's a lot of pus in milk because the cow's are. Don't think, just get it hold down one go like I was when I was at my 14-year-old party. There's a tinge of yellow to it from the pus. Because they just get fucking pumped. Come on, you're so close. You can't let us down. Please get the whole milk in you. He's about 300 mils down. He's got about 100 to go. Terrible for uric acid. Here we go. Come on. All that pus crystallizing. (coughs) Crystallizing in your joints. Mm, Pussy cow milk. You're being a cow. Come Mm. on. You're taking too long now. You must finish. Oh, he's got milk dripping down his beard. (laughs) <laughs> you had a big oh. glass of milk. You had a big glass of milk, mate. <laughs> that big, I ruined my lipstick. I reckon that's what, my call, lipstick? No, yeah, okay. that's what we call the episode. Matt drinks oh. milk. <laughs> oh, Matt this milk. wasn't good. Milky Matt. Anyway, look, it's time for the great debate, okay? Oh, oh I feel like shit. Yeah, Hit it. Perfect. Hit it, Matt. Hit it, Brown. Fuck me. The great debate between mates. This is the great debate. Hey, mate, mate, mate. Hey, Kate, late. Yeah, that's good. (laughs) 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 All right, this is a segment where we need to give you guys a trigger warning, all right? This, whatever Matt and Michael say during this segment, it's not real. They don't actually think this. They're just trying to win this debate, okay? So if you're easily offended, move on. Right. But if and if you've got a debate coming up, study us because we're good at it. Yeah, they're getting really good at it. All right, Michael, pick my right or left hand. Oh <laughs> shit! I'll go. Look, I'm gonna go right. Okay, A. So Michael is against this argument, Matt. That means you are for this argument. Okay. <sighs> Understood. What? You need to. You need. <laughs> You're all oh, milky. Fuck, man. That's milk. It's milky. All right. Today's topic. You're for this topic. He's against it. <clears throat> I didn't even see the draw. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to get your attention, and you're over there fucking around. All right. The the, the debate today is. Oh man. I'm men right. are sexy. <laughs> the debate today is men are sexy. <laughs> so Matt is a f- for that argument. Mm. So Matt will be going first. He has a minute and a half to convince us that all men are sexy. And Michael is against that argument. Mm. All right. If you really Three, want me two, and you think one, I'm sexy, go. come on, baby. Let- I don't even know the words of that song. That was sexy, though. All right, you're on the clock. <sighs> I'm telling you. Men have have chest hair, yeah, and 
um, have glutes that are strong when oh. worked on. Poor star, um, man. Come on. I want you to tell me why you think men are sexy. Uh, we have a pheromone that because we're very dirty. And what about men? But it's sexy? like a, it's like a and Johnny Depp, very. Yeah. What about him is sexy? Yeah. And um, and uh, we've got like balls. Yeah. You say so you think balls are sexy? Yeah. When manscaped, fifteen percent off. Twenty actually. Sorry. For the actual 20. Um, okay. You um, think men's balls are hot? What else? Yeah. And um, yeah, if it's either circumcised or not circumcised, either way, it's still just so much better than the mashed up, you know, thing the other sex has. So you're saying dicks are better? Yeah. You'd More prefer- fun. And what else? Anyway, sorry. We're not we're getting off topic a bit, but yeah, I think they're just sexy and, you know. What about them is sex? Nostril, hair, nostril hairs. Um, we've got nostril hairs and girls don't, and it's just, it's just very entertaining and, and you know, facial hair, manscape. Time that was weak. I was weak. Sorry. All right, Michael. Tell me why men are not sexy. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Men are not sexy because women are sexy. Can't Start- gay. Can they both be sexy? Well, look, he's fucking talking in my fucking yeah, phone. Matt, come on. No, I, I didn't talk about okay, it. Uh, uh, he's on the clock. So. so if you look at the female body, the most impressive parts, their eyes, by the way, oh. you can make, you, you can go lower. Okay. They have wonderful necks. Necks in men are very thick. No, you have to tell us, you're not telling us yeah. why women are sexy. You're telling Thank us you. why men aren't sexy. Thank okay. you. Fuck, you're not even taking this seriously. You put a woman next to a man and the man is not sexy. Why are men not sexy? Why? Because they're too masculine. It's too, they're, they're not, they're not, it's not beautiful. It's not like a, oh, I want to fuck that. But if you see a woman, it's more like, they're more pretty. No, forget the women. Stay on topic. Men. Why are men not sexy? Men are not sexy because if you look at their gooch, you will be fucking horrified. <laughs> yeah, gooch is a fuck. Even that, if, yeah, the gooch is bad, but just... Man, I've seen some sacks in my day and look, <laughs> sacks are not hot unless it's Santa Claus's because it's full of presents. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine's full of presents too. Yeah, as <laughs> for children. Full of mints. Also, look. Hot mints. An unkept man's body can be, it can be a sight. You can see like just shit that you don't want to look at. Time! All right, Matt, rebuttal, one oh, minute. Marty, give me a beat. Three, two, one, go. Yo, <laughs> yo. Men's muscles, <laughs> sexy. <laughs> hey, wait, stop that, stop that. I've had enough. Men's muscles, sexy. Men's genitals, sexy. Men's smiles, sexy. Men's eyes, sexy. Would you f*** a man? Men's amount of, the amount of money, the amount of money that men earn more than women is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you, would you fuck a man? Men are stronger what? than women. Would you sexy? Fuck hey, that's not the question. Yes. <laughs> Say it. Men, men are stronger, which is sexy. Men are more dominant, which is sexy. <laughs> men are faster, much faster, and that is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's trying to be sexy right now. <laughs> Men are funnier. It's sexy. And time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he loves like that 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. that dog Gary, cartoon. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what that is. It's like the <laughs> from Family Guy. <laughs> oh, he <yeah>. likes <laughs> <All> that too. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> All right, Michael, your last minute to say why men are not sexy. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Okay, I'll reiterate how bad a fucking gooch is because they're terrible, yes. especially one with dangleberries why, hanging Do you disagree it? with what Matt said and why? Yeah. Well, look, I'm just going to put this out there. Are there any male Victoria's Secret models? Yes. I do not think there is. I'll give you a list. And that. Is for, isn't that women's clothing? Though? That's women's know, clothing. But men walk the walk with them. Look. Victoria's Secret Models. What is the name Victoria? A female name. Men are not sexy because women are sexy. That's their... 
What specifically about men is not sexy other than the gooch? Yeah. I named all the sexy things. What are you naming? Man, you just a gooch. hairy man's armpit. I shave my armpits. I've started doing that because it's just not sexy having stringy hair there, especially after I win p- pickleball comps. Does it? Does your when hair- a man wins a pickleball comp, that's sexy. That is not sexy. You know why you want it? Because hey, hey, most- hey, come on. Sorry, I'm disagreeing with this pickleball comp. Men overall are not sexy because women are. Time. All right, look, boys, I was um, I was pretty shit from both. Of them. <laughs> the gooch, you can, uh, man, I reckon the gooch trumps everything. You had two and a half minutes, and you mentioned the gooch. Okay. What did I mention? And balls. You just said listed things about men that are sexy and said that they're sexy. Exactly. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, I think Johnny Depp. We all lose after that. <laughs> there is no winner from that great debate. So no, I'm sorry. Who? What? Do you, what would you lean towards more? Oh, Michael definitely had a more funnier approach. I Mine think was more factual. The audience. Well, Michael decides. didn't. Michael just kind of went off on a tangent talking about how women are sexy so yeah. instead of right. telling us why men yeah, are not. That's going to be next week's debate. Women. Well, look. Let the audience decide. They can tell us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I probably won. skipped that segment. To be honest, I'm pretty sure I won. Anyway, let's move on. <coughs> to a brand new segment and this is a segment called the savage solo and matt and michael will be playing an instrument which they've never played before for the first time here for 30 seconds and whoever plays worse will have to eat one of my toenails so we're talking digest. Yeah, you have to eat it. It's not like much. It's Let's like hard. You, what if it can cuts up it? my it, like? Can we just see? Nibble it till it softens. Can we yeah. see the? Uh, yeah, where is it? Now? I think you ripped them off in the over there. Oh yeah, here it is. So it's look, it's quite small. Have a look, please. Oh, it's a bit jagged. Yeah, that's what I'm scared about. Like I saw it before, and you were like, "What if it cuts the intestines as it comes out?" Here we have a curly trumpet. I don't think it's called a curly trumpet. I'm pretty sure it is. Isn't it a xylophone? Oh, maybe it's a xylophone, or you it's know, a- or the that's the technical name, and the street name is the curly trumpet. And you guys have got 30 seconds each to play this. Okay, they look. It's got fucking buttons on it that are quite hard to push, and then I guess you blow in there. All right, let's fucking get it done. <laughs> this is going to be so <laughs> <You're> shit. <first. laughs> oh, should we scissors paper rock? Shut okay, up. you can go first. So I'll allow that. Okay. Your thirty. Is there any hint on how to hold it? I've you, never played James! it. <laughs> you got to. You got to see. You got to see how good you are just by knowing. James! I don't think. Know. I think it adds to it if you don't know how to hold it. Oh. <laughs> you got twenty more seconds. Come on. <laughs> Matt's lipstick's going to be all over this. No, it didn't come off. It must have come off. Fuck. Is it on there? Yes. <laughs> I didn't see it. Sorry about that. Oh, it hasn't been anywhere. Now, can you... Man, you got to rate that. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. you got to rate that. All right. Well, you know, I'll see how you go first, but very slow start. You missed about four seconds to begin with, and then there was... You just... <sighs> making. Maybe I'm time. a late starter. A yeah. late bloomer. All right. Well, Don't put that against let's me. Let's see. Let's see. Ready? Three, two, one, go. What do you mark me out of ten? What a shit instrument. Time. I like to say something before you announce the things. He's had a lesson in this, hasn't he? <laughs> no. What? He did, didn't that he? Boy, anyone who has had a lesson with you that had a lesson in that, didn't you? I don't think that that's You had a lesson. Thing. I saw it. I was here. 
Yeah, well, on Skype, that's not a fucking. Yeah, you lesson. had a Skype lesson. That's more than I've oh. ever. Had. And I was fucking. That should. What, I was, that should be. That should be. I should be handicapped. I was twenty bongs deep. Oh yeah. Well, I feel like I'm twenty bongs deep. Never using that thing before. Yeah, one glass of milk deep. That's for sure. Mm, indeed. <laughs> All right. Look, I it's pretty clear. Won. It's pretty clear that Michael won that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you must have had a lesson or something. I'm fucking. I'm so music. You must have yeah, had a lesson. Pretty impressive. I'm a savage soloist. Let us know what you thought of that segment, guys. If you think that was hectic as shit, and let's watch Matt eat a fucking toenail first. There you go. You gotta eat it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One down the hatch. <sighs> oh, oh that's Ooh, fuck, salty. Man. Why is it so salty? Because I've been walking around barefoot. Mm. Oh. oh, I'd have to swallow it. Disease oh. underneath the toe. <laughs> Yeah, fungal shit, man. Like, what's that uh, weird word? Tuberculosis. You just caught <laughs> tuberculosis. You yeah. now have tonsillitis. A next level of asperges. The next oh, level. You stepped up. Oh, fuck, man. Mm. Did you swallow it? I need to go, yeah. I need to go wash my mouth out. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to have a quick bong break and we'll be right back with some other shit. Wow. Let's have a bong. All right, guys, we're back, and you guessed it. First of all, Matt fucking spat that toenail out. He told everyone that he ate it, and he went straight to the bathroom, spat it out. And that's not on. That's not savage. That wasn't savage. That's just solo, solo now. Yeah, you're being solo. From now on, you must swallow. You've been bamboozled, baby. And if oh. you may, may have guessed, oh, it's on. time for bamboozled. Hit it, Brown. I can hear your mother outside. No. No, not me. No, not again. Please. I'm so confused. I can't see. You've been bamboozled, bitch! Yeah, 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 check it. I say you've been bamboozled, bitch! Not me, not me, not me. Uh, And this is a segment where James bamboozles us. Yeah. He's going to present three things, and one of the things is fucked, and the two, other two things are normal, and one of us will be bamboozled, and we don't know which one, and it's scary as hell. It kind of suits you, Matt, having that on. Roll, roll, roll the tape, Connor. Roll, 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 roll the tape, Connor. Press the button. It is time again for bamboozle. This week, banger. The lucky ones are going to get a large spoonful of these in their mouths to stay there while they look at each other in the eyes. The unlucky ones are going to put them in their mouth. Yuck. They're alive. (laughs) Bamboozled, baby. So now everybody in the world, except for the boys, knows that two of you will be lucky enough to... Oh, first of all, I'll start with you don't need to swallow or eat what you're going to have in your mouth here, okay? okay? All right, that's Shazer. good. Well, two of you can because two of you are going to have um, a little mini shot glass of sour worms. Delicious. Oh, but no. But you may have no. worked out that the other person is going to have living <laughs> giant mealworms in your mouth, five of them, oh, what wriggling are... and squiggling around oh, in dude. your mouth. What are giant mealworms? <laughs> oh, my they're God. they're giant mealworms. Shall I show you guys one? Yeah. Like oh. so, you know what they look like? Oh, dude, I, I can't see it. No, I, I yeah, think I, I should show it. you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they? Where did you get them? From the pet this shop. Is, I googled it. Are they? They're, are they diseases? I promise in them? you, they're fit for human consumption. They're they, fine. Bullshit. Oh, I promise you. This is very bad. Fucking Fuck. worms are full We're of shit. You're gonna get Lyme's disease. Oh. You're gonna get Lyme's disease. Oh. And the are they gonna put my stomach, James, and tape me? Now I'm fucking paranoid. Oh, they're so big. Oh, yeah, but- show Jet. Show Jet. What does Jet think about them? Are they alive? <laughs> he does, ah! like, he does <laughs> like it. They're going to have one that's been licked by a dog. Is that alive? Yeah, look. Oh. oh see, it fixes itself. Let's just get it done with. I can't deal with this falling. shit. Look at the armor on it. It's going to be very crunchy mouthful. That's so you're good. saying we don't Whoa! have to... Ah! We don't have to swallow that, James. We just no. have to chew it a bit. No, don't chew it. Yeah, and then you get fucking what? rabies. Oh, so we just sit it in our mouths. Yeah. Oh, oh. that's that's much easier. Are you sure you don't want us to well, chew? Well, we don't it? want to Shut kill up! a living animal. Oh, it's a fucking worm. <laughs> Worms aren't people. <laughs> so the rules are going to be: you'll take the shot, 
Okay, huh. and the ones that have the lollies, don't start chewing and swallowing them. Leave them in your mouth because otherwise everyone's going to know that you've been, you're not bamboozled. Okay. If so you, you get the mealworms, you just have to keep them in your mouth, make eye contact with everyone else and not have- With your to... mouth closed? Yes. Yeah. Fuck off. So they're going to crawl down your throat oh, hole, Brown. Uh-huh. Okay, so I reckon, and what, 10 seconds? And then we point, you go one, two, yep. three, and we point who we think yeah, has got you bamboozled. you who you think is has been bamboozled. I honestly <laughs> think if it's me, I'm going to spit them out. Matt, ca- you can't. <laughs> Yes, well, I try, can. Try, try and stop me. Bit. Try and stop me. I'd rather dog shit. I'd rather dog shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaning to it. Okay, now what? what I'm gonna do this time because you can't really point at the one you want. Who lost last time? Not I me. I think it was Brookhouse. That I had lemon in my eye. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was yeah. Brookhouse. So you get to choose first, but you're gonna just guess a number between one and three. But first, let me work out what is the what is the worm. And I'll should you close your eyes now and I'll show it to the camera so okay. they don't yeah. think I'm cheating. Okay. Why don't we just dip? Matt, don't look, it? Matt. Make sure Matt's not cheating. He always cheats. Okay, cool. They saw that. All right. You. Um, but- All right, well, um, Michael, you get to choose first. Choose either one, two, or three. One. Okay. Marty? Two. Okay. Matt? I guess I'll go three. <laughs> <laughs> We're counting. All right. <laughs> can you see Brookhouse? Oh, shit. Can I see? Can you see? Mar- no. Oh, Marty can see. I no can- bloody blind. Follow his bloody noggin. <laughs> now I can't see. All right. I can kind Okay. See. All right. I'm going to give you guys your shot glass. Kinda. All right. Oh, okay. f- Keep it hidden. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm scared okay, now. Br- Brown, you said you could see. I so said I can kind of see, but I've moved it. <laughs> Man, Is there liquid right, in it? I ready? I don't feel good. Eh? Three. Two, one, in your mouth, and then blindfolds off. <laughs> blindfolds off. Blindfolds ah. off. Ah. I don't Fucking want to hell, say Matt! Do it. it! Do it, I Matt! Do it! Do it. Ah. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's so shit. It's so fucking shit. <laughs> ah. Do it, Matt! He's <laughs> shaking. Ah. All right, blindfold off, Brown. Blindfold off. I can't do it. I can't. (laughs) Okay, point at who you think has been fucked. (laughs) Spit it out on your lap. (laughs) Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh man, they were crawling. I just wanted to win. Boy, I wanted to win the game. Oh, I wanted to man win. Man was the- panicking because he had fucking sour things in his shoulder. Oh, I was being God. brave. Was my being heart so is brave. still, my heart is still pounding. Why? I just don't know. As I went, I went to try and go. Yeah, just put it in. Yeah. And when I went like that, they didn't move. Oh, and I was were- like, shit. It's like there's this now. There's this anxiety of the Did drop. Did you look a bit? No, no, I tried. <laughs> I couldn't. They were crawling. Yeah, that must have been so weird. What was that like? Oh, so bad. <laughs> I started to feel like they were biting into my gums wanting to burrow. Oh! Probably they do burrow. Imagine if it yeah. crawled down your throat. Look, You've... they're trying to burrow right now. Look, Lyme's disease. That was... um. They carry Lyme's disease. I, I saw that. <laughs> I literally saw that on the news. <laughs> oh. That was one of the shittest ones we've ever had that to do. That was so rough. The anxiety. Was that was... Yum, though? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> fucking Matt's in there shaking like yeah. a leaf. They're already taking their it. blindfolds off and you're sitting there panicking with Well, I was trying to go like this. Oh. I was trying to go like this to feel and <laughs> so How quickly did you know, Michael, that you oh, got Straight one? away. That I showed this to the camera, so you'll see that I didn't cheat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want to go away. wipe your mouth out? Like, No, no. Oh. All right, because they do have fucking- Look at them trying to burrow. Lime's disease. I spat. I don't believe you. Well, they got James yellow. James would Google never it. put us in harm's way. But they way, could have, yeah, like, in a, they have yellow worm in Australia. And I you can't don't, look at them. You don't want to get that yellow worm. rough to look at. I literally Googled it and it said they are safe for both animal and human consumption. Oh, put oh, one in your were, mouth, Matt. They were crawling. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He just did that look where he's genuine. He's taking his headphones <laughs> off. He's putting it on the thing and he's stepping forward and he's picking up a mealworm and he is sitting back and he is thinking about this. Oh, look at it wiggling. Oh, Marty. Oh, no, no. Chew it. Oh. <laughs> look at that poor meal. <clears throat> Come here. It's just going to get fed to a spider anyway. Dr. McDonald found three Borrelia pathogens, including B, the cause of agent of Lyme disease, thriving inside worms. Worms. <laughs> oh, Treat says it right here. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't see that article. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have to always tell me shit. Now I'm going to be, and the cookie's hitting, now I'm more paranoid. <laughs> I would have been fine. That's that would have been fine. It's incurable. But it'll be funny. For, it'll be funny for content. Yeah, what, do I just like shit out limes? I think so. <laughs> just do an X-ray of your body and your li- there's limes all through your body. Oh man. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Everything's they're okay. Cute. They're living. They're like Michael's. Michael. They like Michael. He's in there. Ooh. Part of him now. You've got limes too. Yeah, I've always had limes, <laughs> brother. Oh man. So there you go. Fucking bamboozle, Brian. You need to bloody commit to that segment. And the music segment, by the way, I you were put him in. the music. He was terrible. He's had a lesson. I didn't get that. Wasn't a proper lesson. Yeah, Doesn't sorted. matter. That is an advantage. Even just knowing <laughs> Did how you to use them? your lips. No, I heard. I heard Matt's a bit, and it was very bad. <laughs> but I couldn't hear yours, Michael. Which probably means you were like tender and quiet. Yeah. Oh, because well, no, you had a you, fucking you lesson. You could hardly produce sounds, so you would have heard. Oh, mine. This is like going to. This bad. is like going to play golf, and you've had lessons. Remember when he did that to you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they're all he upset about that. that. Oh, oh, yeah. Jetty, Jetty, come here, come on. Jetty, 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 come on, Jetty, come on, up, Jetty, come on, up, you come, come on, Jetty, up, up, come on, Jetty, up, good boy, Jetty, up, up, uh, <laughs> now he's trapped. <laughs> Look at this. Boy. We got a little raccoon dog yeah, on he's him, like right? Raccoon, fruit bat, possum all mixed together <laughs> with cat. I swear he's not had any any um ticks Six. or or um what are the other things? Fleas since you pissed on him. Oh. I reckon there could be something there. Wow, well, that's piss science. Is good for you. It it's venom in your piss. That'd be a good website video. Which human human bodily fluids? <gasps> Jack! 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 <laughs> 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 he hit Bad him. Boy. The light hit him. Man, Bosley would have been out that fucking <laughs> door. <laughs> <and> about, <laughs> like, the whole set, everything would have been fucked then. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, Bozzy would have so run into everything bad. else on the way. <laughs> he would have gone uh, sideways. Thank you, Bamboozler. Oh, yeah. And the Bamboozler exits uh, the room. <laughs> Holy oh, fuck, bomb man. Break. That was hectic. Oh, man. Anyway, we're back, everyone, and guess what? It's time to get down with the brown. Oh, I forgot about that segment. We have a song. We have a new song for it. Oh, for, oh, I completely new, forgot about that segment. A brand new song for this segment, song. guys. Oh, You're in for a real treat. I haven't even heard this yet. <laughs> and that's sort of a song. And that resembles this segment. So oh, this is a segment really where we ask Matt Brown really personal questions oh. and really try and bring his walls down because he's a lot of trust issues. Bring he, his balls down. He doesn't, he doesn't really open up ever and he just lives very sheltered life, very shallow conversations with us, even off camera. It's just all like, oh, like crazy weather on the weekend, hey? And like just oh, talking about like oh, shallow, off. boring shit like that. So it's, it's about lie. time we got to know him. <clears throat> so Matt, question This is not one. a good, this is a sh- uh. Question number one. How does a person become courageous? Do you know what that word means? Like brave and shit. That's like brave, being brave. Being yeah. brave and shit. Yeah. What, do what, you, what, it, what to you is courageous? Like saving a bunch of people from a burning building or something like that. Is so that firefighters? Mean? So that's what you have to do to be a courageous person? Oh, I don't know. There's lots of, um, you know, there's lots of things that are really courageous. Like, uh, you know, when um, someone comes out, it's a uh, very very courageous. Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> Aaron Brockovich is very <laughs> courageous. Comes out. Yeah, you know, well, it's not that courageous anymore. Now you get a fucking trophy. Wearing a wearing a um burka? No. Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> Do you reckon she's courageous? Wearing a dress in public is very courageous. I reckon wearing a burka if that's not your religion is courageous. Why would you wear it if it's not your religion? To be courageous. Right. Charging the front lines is, can be courageous. Oh sometimes. man, that's I can't wait till we have to do that, boys. It's gonna be so funny. Do we'll, it. Matt will be like, cover me, and then we'll be like, we'll nod and be like, yep, yep, and then he runs off and we don't cover him. <laughs> and then that night, because he's survived, he just like goes off at us. <laughs> you didn't fucking have my back. <laughs> and I got stuck out in the middle of all day. Had to crawl back. Us in war would be so funny. I don't think they do trench warfare anymore. Yeah, that's probably true. Well, Aaron Brockovich. 
you reckon yeah, she's, she's a good courageous. lawyer? Yeah. All right, next question. Very courageous. That's, that's very good. All right. What is your favorite thing in the world to do? Why? <laughs> and how would you feel if you couldn't do it anymore? My, I don't know what the favorite thing in the world yeah. to Can't do. Can't be watching movies or playing with basketball cards or I don't Sunday play walks. with basketball cards, Michael. I collect them I and then I sell them. I reckon having sex is Matt's having fun. Yeah, it's up there. You love having sex. <laughs> This is a funny word. Mm. That's something I enjoy you doing. You really love sex. creamy sex. You love watching the UFC? Yeah, I like watching the UFC. What was there, the second part of it? Why? Oh, because I like to see the courageous men throwing punches at each other. And what would and you, men are sexy. What What would you do if you could never do that anymore? I'd probably watch boxing. All right. <laughs> That's your favorite thing to do. Sex <laughs> and UFC. Uh, do you ever do sex? You have seed at the same time. Mm, yeah, but um, my girlfriend doesn't like that. Ground and pound? No, not ground and pound. It's a bit, it's a bit too violent, but a few choke outs maybe. <laughs> Hemif- <laughs> what about hammer fists? <laughs> no, nah, because you mess up the face. Spinning back kicks? No. Nah, you know, just, you know. All right, here's a, here's a deeper. Two ankle locks. Here's a deeper one, all right? All right <clears throat> hit me with it. Does your family ever embarrass you? How? <laughs> oh, my God, that is a heavy question. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't listen to the podcast. Yeah, so they do sometimes. Um, I'm going to respectfully plead the fifth. No, I can't oh. do that here, can I? Um, uh, Just do they embarrass you? No. Who do you like the most what, out of your never family? never embarrass you. Are they all equal to me, Michael? What about who do you like the least then? They're all equal That's to me, bullshit. Michael. Okay, in the middle. What do you like the middle out of them? They're all in the middle. Okay. Um, Would you rather go down on your mum or your dad? Oh, fuck it. You have hell. to go down on otherwise your sister gets oh. shot in the back. And she, it's like she doesn't die instantly. She's paralyzed for six months. <laughs> oh, she'll have to take the bullet. I don't know if I can really? do yeah, <laughs> she'll be good with that. Close your eyes and she'll understand your dad that. Off. She'll understand that. She can play video games for six Man, months. That's really yeah. rough. Exactly. I'd rather shoot your. I would. Yeah, I'd, I'd just suck my dad off. Yeah, like Again. that's honestly. The I'd, I'd take a bullet for her, so she should be taking a bullet for me. All right. So your family has never embarrassed you. Come on, surely there's one time. I wait, let's tell a child. Tell, yeah, I'll tell a child tell that embarrassing childhood story. I'll begin if you like. Yeah, I'm trying to think, man. My parents okay. were fucking good. So in high school, yeah, right, mum had to fill out this form like for us to go, <laughs> I don't know, get a shot for something. <laughs> yeah, there was, wait, wait, this is the story. Your mother was filling out a form, then saw it cost money and said no. Well, that too, but this was free. But she had to fill out a form and where it says name, she wrote her name instead of my name. And this was just a beginning at high school. Like I'd never, it was like first day. It was like really like, you know, you really kind of socially aware. You want to try and make a good impression. You don't want to be some fucking loser. Oh, that's right. And, and then they were reading these forms. I forget what the forms were for, but anyway. They're I, reading I, out the they, form. They read out my mother's name. And no one, so no one gets up and like moves, gets the form or whatever. And then I'm in my head, I'm going, oh my God, like that's my mum's name. So that I have to go up and get it. But if I go up and get it, then the whole class is going to think my fucking name is a woman's name. Yeah, that's right. Your mum f***ed up. How long was the time frame till you went up and got it? Did you get up and get it? Did you just leave uh, they it? called out a few times and then I reluctantly got up and grabbed it. I would have just said, I would have not and then gone to him at the end. Yeah, yeah that's That would have been smarter. But yeah, holy shit. Dude, she f- that's rough on like, you know, the start of high school. That's not a good mum. Yeah, teachers fuck up names. I remember a dude named Kyle at high school got read out as Kylie in front of the whole school and everyone was like, blah, because everyone knew who he was and they said his last name and they're like, oh, it's Kyle. It's, you know, it's not it's not Kylie and everyone just, fuck, he copped it. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. Did, um, so what, do you want me to go? Then you'll go? Okay. Okay. All right. My mum had a habit of befriending my enemies in primary school. <laughs> How many so, enemies did you have? Well, you know, just the kids that you just don't have fucking time for. You don't want to be around them. And like, I remember like at my birthday party one year, I was having like shit loads of friends over to not only, <laughs> yeah, it was like a pool party. Anyway, next minute, there they are. All the people I don't want just because she wanted to be inclusive. <laughs> this, oh man, that's. How old were you? I think I was probably year five. Yeah, that is rough. <laughs> a brown down time Ten. at family. Uh, we're at Movie World once. 
Your mum's breast was out. <laughs> no. It's fucking older than that. Anyway, we're at Movie World once and I was... My sister and me, we'd piss each other off every now and then. Now, in this case, it's most cases, it's me, all right? But on this particular time, it was my sister, like, causing the ruckus. But I got blamed for it. And my dad was, like, my dad was, like, in front of, like, a line of people to go, well, lining up for, like, the Batman ride or something. I can't remember. Where are you again? Movie World. And he's 16 <laughs> years old. <laughs> now, I need you to concentrate here. Sorry. No, I was quite young. I was sorry. Oh, fuck, 15. I no, I was like eight or something, nine, maybe 10. <laughs> yeah. And 40 years ago. They used to have these giant carrots. You know, Bugs Bunny had carrot. So you, it was a ride? No, no, no. Just listen. Okay. Concentrate. They had giant carrots there that you could go in for kids and they were interactive stuff in there. And um, At SeaWorld. At Movie World. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm not going to tell the story. <laughs> No, I was please, so close. You, you nearly had a great moment. And you oh, it. No. Okay, look. No. Since Paper Rock, you no, win. I'm gonna you tell you at the, to. I'll tell you at the end. I'll tell you at we the end. We have to hear it And now. you're going to be like, fuck, I we wish everyone to. heard it. All right, look. All right, we'll move on. Next all right. Week. Last question, all right? And then we'll see if- That was Michael's fault. We'll just, we'll just let him calm down and we'll ask him again soon. There's violence involved. Greg Brown was very violent. And um, maybe, Michael, you should ask him this one. If we had a special family- Day together, what would you want to do? Who, why are you asking me that? Because <laughs> I'm the Sea World boy. What? <laughs> Your story is if SeaWorld. you had a special day with me, a special family day, you and two, it can't be at SeaWorld. Michael World. is having a special family day with my family. No, with you. You guys are having a special family day, and it's at Sea World. Are we bringing our families? No. So me and Michael, <laughs> on our own. Are having a family day at SeaWorld. <laughs> yes. Is that where yours was? <laughs> no. Where was yours again? So what would you do, Matt? Special family I'm day. Never telling that story. Oh, I wanted you to say Movie World one more time for me. Matt? Never. Okay. What would you do for your special family day with Michael? Oh, we know what we do. Yeah, I know what we do too. <laughs> game. We game. We game our hearts out. I'd like to play pickleball with him, but he refuses. To play yeah, yeah, sorry, dude. It wouldn't be good for me. I wasn't that fucking bad. It no, but like, wasn't if we were to play singles, golf. I wouldn't have a good time. That's I, true. I reckon. I reckon I could do some damage. I guarantee I would beat you. I would. You'd probably. There would never. You'd get three points max. And that would be because I've hit it in the net. I or reckon out. ten points max. No way. It says not first to 11. Really? That's yeah. it. So you'd have to nearly win. Right, we'll play pickleball soon. Well, look, I'd rather game. I'd rather game too. Get we'll just game. do that. Game it is. <laughs> anyway, that's getting down with the brown, everybody. Pretty hectic, eh? Can we do one more? That was fun. What about, I like childhood shit. All right, oh. all right. The end of the story is we're lined up for a line and my sister was the one causing the ruckus. And then dad thought it was me, yelled at me. And I basically said to I said to my sister, I'm going to fuck you. I'll get you back for this. And dad saw me do that. And then he dragged me in front of the line of people into one of those carrots. And I was like, it wasn't me. It was my sister. And he went in there and my mom said, all you could hear was like, like the, the slaps and me going. Aah! And then I came back out and the whole line was looking at me. And I was silent boy. You know, you get hit, you go silent. <laughs> I was walking back to the line. And all the all the families are just staring at me. I was the shit kid who got hit. <laughs> Did your dad have an erection as yeah, you guys walked bit. back? But um, yeah, that was embarrassing <laughs> for me. How are you not wet? I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> sea <Seawell. Seawell. laughs> Let's big do carrot. a fucking big fat prank call, boys. Right. Let's fucking tear this room apart. Oh, um, there's no PO box this week, but if you do want to send us anything, send it to PO box two five six Tagum forty eighteen Queensland Australia. Send us some weird shit, something we can open up and really freak ourselves out. We got the giant lollies. hand thing last time. Send us lollies. We got the the hand of death oh, last man, time, that and that has fucked. been a very painful uh, addition. And also, our phone number is zero four six 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 zero two three zero three. If you want to leave your crazy stories and shit, bro, we just send us hectic pictures and. Shit. We do go through them all, and it's fucking great seeing that shit, man. Did you ever fight back when your dad hit you? Oh, I remember chucking the shit. I was playing little T-ball league, little baseball T-ball league when I was young, 
and I had the shits about something. I was sitting there. I was like, oh, look, shits. My, and my dad came up and he's like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? He shook me a bit. I was like, mm. I like hit his like legs and he's like, he's like, hey, Lando was like, I'll drag you to the car and we'll go. <laughs> and I was like, Ooh. that was kind of fighting. <laughs> That was my attempt at a fight. He leant over and kissed your face really passionately, <laughs> threatened oh. you with sexual abuse, or was that just my parents? So this is today's prank call. Hit it, Brown. And it's your it's time a, is here for us to waste. Picking time. up your phones. It's, it's time ha, ha, to prank call them. Ha, ha, it's prank call time. Okay, so basically a mate has called in their other Sick. mate, Luke, and well, this is a prank call on him and... A week ago, he was at a golf club, we will not name, but he was on the second hole and <clears throat> he damaged the green with his putter. Like, fucked it up, apparently. So, <laughs> we're going to call as the golf club and say that we have him on CCTV footage damaging the green and he'll need to repair it. But obviously, I like it when Marty just gets angrier and angrier. So, you have to make it up on the fly. Bye. Uh, g'day, mate. Um, it's Paul Dieter here from Paul Golf Club. Um, do you have a second to chat? I do. Um, look, mate, um, I don't really know how else to say this, but um, you've been identified on CCTV. Um, what basically one of our greens was damaged last week, um, and we've gone through yeah. the CCTV, and you've been identified um, as the person who uh, – messed up one of the greens on the, the second hole. It looks like there's some pretty large divots out of the green. Yeah, right. Do you remember doing that? Yeah, I had a little fuck up. Mate, do you have any yeah. idea, firstly, how much work goes into those greens? We, yeah, we, actually, yeah, we actually employ two full-time groundsmen, okay, to look after those greens. And it's actually, they put in four to five hours a day fixing those greens up. And we had multiple complaints from other players after saying, mate, the, the, the green on hole two is completely destroyed. It was unplayable. So you can only imagine how upset our members would have been as well. Oh, yeah, that's unplayable. I can understand. I was completely my fault. I fucking did something very stupid. But yeah, and mate. Unplayable. Mate. Incredibly stupid, first of all. And second of yeah, all, yeah. like we're, we're going to have to pay for these these damages now. Look, we've had to close that hole completely. So we, we're telling our members, our members that pay a large yearly amount of money to us, we're telling them, skip the second hole because the green's damaged, all right? So now we're losing business, mate. And to be quite frank with you, you're actually liable here. Yeah. So, mate, look, we've got your number. We're tracking down your details, right? And we're going to have to either take this take this to the police unless you come down and sort this mess. Yeah. So what do you want to do? I mean, I'll obviously come down. But... Yeah. Yeah, you're going to come down. You're going to come down and pay for it. We need some money this week. How much money? Mate. <sighs> Look. I'm not fucking around here. We need at least 10K. 10K by the end of the fucking week. 10 grand. 10 fucking grand. Okay. And you are never playing you again. Do you understand me? Yeah. When are you coming in? I don't know. Come back today. Yeah, well, it better be t tomorrow by the latest. You fucking... This is bullshit! The fucking green is fucked! Yeah. I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! Fucking hell, mate. Look, I'm sorry, alright? I'm, I'm... Fucking hell. We've had a fucking... Look, we've had a big week, alright? We've had a fucking big week, alright? It's been a mess, a real shitstorm. Yeah, no, you're right. Look, look. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll take that back. Okay, look, and I'll even wipe two grand off the price. Okay, eight k. You, you fucking come in and pay for that green. Okay, eight k by the end of the week, and we got no dramas. <sighs> Fuck, man. I'm so rock hard right now. This is so weird. <laughs> I'm not trying to be smart. How does that one do it like fully accept the green though? 
Well, because they have to fucking like drill a hole around the affected areas and pull it up. Because if a ball like it, we try and like fill it in and shit, but if you put too much sand in it, the golf ball slows down as it rolls over and lie of it's all now. There's it's tilted and shit. We're gonna have to redo the whole fucking green because cats know when they fucking come that the slant's not right. Redo the whole green. Yeah, we've got to redo the whole fucking green. It's so shit. I hate this job! I hate this job! You alright, man? What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? Seriously. <sighs> Luke, just. just stop, okay? God, I just. Yeah. I just want to be with you, dude. I, I don't get it. What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck? Luke, what the fuck this, is that? This is, a, this is a prank call, Luke. This is Josh, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? You're on, you're on the Marty and Michael fully actual oh, podcast. Dude. Your mates um, messaged us and stitched you up. <laughs> what the fuck? Is it Jackson? Who was it, Michael? Was it yeah, it was Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. There you go. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you thinking? Were you like, holy shit, this guy's crazy? Yeah, I was, because I did do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. I Threatening guess. to kill you? <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what the f*** is this <laughs> Imagine if a, if a golf club was that fucking passionate about that. Oh, man. Oh. Lose your life because of the green. <laughs> Oh, we can yell to fucking hate this job. I was like, I wish you kept going with the I want to be with you lines. Oh, so yeah. oh man. Oh. A part of me thought you knew it was a prank call, but no, it was your fucking. Oh, I should have known. That was <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Luke, sorry to waste your time. See you, dude. <laughs> dude. It's fully happening. We're, we're pranking the world, dude. Oh, I can't believe that guy thought, like, was, <laughs> he's just Threat- like, mate, that's a bit far. That's a bit far. <laughs> Threatening to kill him is so far, dude. Like, if he had taken that the wrong way, like Milko's mate, yeah, he would have been the police yeah, dude, court. Yeah, like, because, yeah, it's like, because yeah, I'm literally threatening to kill him. <laughs> yeah, if he takes it the wrong way. I just oh. broke the law. Yeah, wow, dude. That we, break, is, um, we break the law for your entertainment. Don't forget us a five-star review on Spotify. We're at 3.2K now. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to subscribe, please, and like, and just comment something. Comment literally something. Oh, just man. the word something. Yeah, something. that would be lovely. And also, yeah, if we can get to 3.3K five-star reviews on Spotify. Matt will show his testicles. Also, we're like 20, we're like 20 subscribers away from 40,000 on YouTube. Uh-huh. Maybe we should. 40,000 yeah. is not that cool. Though. I know, but still. It's... Are you on the phone or something? No, that's just people calling. Keep oh. calling. I sometimes answer. Oh, four, six, we should have six, answered six. then. Anyway, yeah. guys, the next week, Tinder Adventures will return and some hectic shit's going down. So Did we be strong and wild. That? Did we actually tell them that Tinder? Too much milk. Please, please, Bender stories. <laughs> keep sending them in. Yeah, send some Bender stories. And if you've got crushes, send them my way. Yeah, to talk to I'll them. definitely fuck that up. Sorry. We're the best. Are we done here? We are the best! We're the best!